Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines here on Potato Head Plays. And we're back here in the city of Bernatan and we've got a few things I want to do today. And the very first thing, I'm going to get straight into it, is just upgrading these roads. We're getting too big now just to have dirt roads, especially along the bottom here. We are going to lose a couple of paths and things here, which I'm going to put straight back in so I don't forget. But yeah, we're going to try and not follow roadway hierarchy too strictly, but this main road particularly needs upgrading. And then I'm also going to upgrade the road on the end here. Just check there's no stop signs and traffic lights everywhere because we don't need that. And then this road here, we're going to upgrade all the way along because that's heading to the industry area. And because we're upgrading from the dirt road, we are losing a few paths. I don't know why I can't turn this asymmetric road around. So we'll add that in there. So where there's turnings, cause this is kind of a main road, I suppose you could argue it's a collector. I'm gonna use asymmetric lanes. So there's dedicated turning lanes, but for the rest of it, I'm just using the normal local road. Excellent. Oh, and we've got some water issues going on here and heating. So for now, I'll just budge the budget up. Should fix that. There we go. We'll get straight back to upgrading these roads. So where were we? All the way along here. Yeah, we're gonna lose some shops, but they'll grow back. That's not a problem. Yeah, upgrading roads was one of the first things I wanted to do. And then the next thing was get straight back down here to our industry area. You can see we're at level three. We need more workers and we need more production and everything if we're gonna level this up to level five. So I want to get one of these new medium ore mines in. I love these assets because they actually move. So you'll see when I place it. Ooh, I want to get it in and not destroy those rocks as much as possible so let's just try and shuffle this road a bit lower down yeah yeah we'll just put it in there and they look good in the corners because they've got that big pile of stone i want to try and get another one of these in as well so let's see can i move this guy anywhere now nah, probably best to just delete him stick him in there and look at that excellent so we've got two moving ore mines down there now which is really cool and then what else? Seabed mining vessel isn't any good to us. And the new plant we've got is this rotary kiln plant, which is excellent. I'd love to get that in. So it's a big building. We're going to have to do some land grading to make sure that it doesn't go too lumpy and bumpy. Yeah, and look, that'll fit in there nicely. And we're going to leave enough space just so that we can extend that road down as well. So he needs ore and he makes metals. We've got that storage there and I'm going to squeeze another storage in. Where is it? Just there. And then we're gonna have to do a bit of grading just to flatten that out. So again, you need to stay on top of kind of your supply chains for all of these things. Basically, in general, these ore storing things, you always want them on full when you've got processing plants because then your processing plants will always have ore to hand. And then look at this, we've got this huge, unique factory to go in. I'd love to get that in there. So we'll extend this road out even further. I'm gonna bring a road down here so we can have a bit of connectivity around the sides and whatnot expand our industry area like i said last time they, they get real big real quick these things we want that to be filled with metal now because we don't want to just export our metals because this new factory needs those metals so we'll put that on fill there'll be plenty for our factory to use connect up our power again and then we're going to want to put a warehouse in we'll put two in it needs metals so we're going to put this on fill and this one we're going to put on empty and unique factory products so those factory products we make just get exported as soon as possible so that we're making as much money as possible and i like that that's really good there's always somewhere for the products to go when you get not enough buyers for products that means there's nowhere for them to go whereas when you've got that set to empty it should always be good I think we need another access and we're gonna bring this road here. I'm gonna flatten it out so it's flat next to the rotary kiln plant. And then we're gonna use my favorite tool, the sloping road tool, just to meander a road up this way. And then our trucks that are full of ore, trying to get to those storage facilities, the warehouses, they don't all have to funnel back that other way. It's not a cul-de-sac down there anymore. Plenty of connectivity and that's a really good thing. And that will just help our supply chain the electricity's broken down there. I'm not actually sure we'll even need that anymore. We just need the one connection back to the town there. And then, yeah, we might as well connect this up the backwards over this way as well. And then we can squeeze another storage in there, which just more jobs, more storage. It's always good to have, so happy with that. And this is looking really good. Yeah, we'll be at the workers in no time, so it's just a matter of waiting for the resources. 
Because we need more workers and we're waiting for resources, like I say, we're going to upgrade a few more roads around here. And then I think we're going to develop out a big housing estate. So there's this flat area up at the top here. That's going to be a bit of a pad for us to work on. And then I'm going to build rows of houses kind of along these topography lines, which can be a bit challenging. We'll meander down between them if we need a bit more space. And eventually I see this town kind of going all the way around this lake. That's, that's the idea that I have for Burner Tarn is kind of meander all the way around the lake because you know it's named after the lake. Tarn means a mountain top lake. So that's what we want to be the main feature of our city. Oh no, we've got a, a sinkhole. It's not too big one. We'll wait and see where that shows up. Oh, and it's right here in our ore mine and nothing's been affected. So not even bothered with that. That's absolutely fine. We'll get straight back to work fill in this area over here really simple just going to do it the same as normal a couple of dots of commercial around and about and then everything else i'm just going to fill in completely with residential and we can connect up the power much better here and that will create a lot more room for development not far off that next milestone whilst we wait for that to fill out we can pop back over here to the park as you can see we've got enough visitors so we just need to get the entertainment level up so that's nice and easy first thing i'm going to do is upgrade these roads around the edge of the park and sadly we are going to lose our fence but best to do it now and we'll pop the fence straight back in Yep, some of them went a bit weird there, don't quite know what was happening, but we've we've got it in. So now let's look at some of the new things we have we can put in. So this big chessboard's always a fun one, so we'll, we'll drop that in and add a path connectivity to it. That'll be a fun one to play when it's not covered in snow. <laughs> and what else do we have? So yeah, we've got the visitors, we just need the entertainment level. So you can see these tiny assets are not just decorative. Um, they're actually really handy. You can put some of these in and they, they're cheap and they do actually contribute to the entertainment value of your park. So you can drop them in, they, they look real cool, they bring it to life a little bit. Even just bins, you know, you can drop bins along the pathways and there you go, we've leveled up. Now we've unlocked those gazebos. So we've got enough visitors actually for this next level as well. So we can probably, or almost enough, so we can drop some of these gazebos in. And again, just to get bonuses, I'm gonna drop some of these floor tiles. Really cheap, rather than just dropping the gazebo down. This just makes it look a little bit nicer and will add to the entertainment level even more. So it's win, 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 drop a path in. I think another gazebo along here. I love these gazebos. Now, I do think they're the kind of thing you'll see a lot of in a in a park like this, especially where it might be snowing a lot. People would want to go in and, and take a bit of shelter. So we'll drop those in. Some planters around the edges, which I think looks really nice. You know, I'm not a really detail-y, detail -y kind of player. I think generally, if you just chuck stuff down, it looks pretty good anyway in the end. Um, some people out there, you know, would spend hours and hours on the tiny little details of this, but you're kind of limited without Move It or Anarchy anyway. So plain in vanilla, I think just chuck it down. It will look pretty good. And if you want to do some detailing later, you can do. I really just want to get the it leveled up so we're getting the benefits of it at this stage. So a bit of lighting would be nice. Again, a couple more bins couple of flower planters around and we should be just about there with the entertainment level that we need there you go so we just wait for the visitor numbers to to go up but we should get there in no time as well so finally you can see we've got things going on here i've not put enough water in so we'll put that in so that these people are happy and then I do think it is time we just do a quick health check because we have expanded our city a lot in terms of the zoning, but I've not done a lot in terms of facilities. So I'm gonna put a recycling center in, but rather than put it with the rest of the ones that we have, I'm gonna put it in our industry area here. So that will just give a bit of coverage over on this side of the city as well. And then what else have we got? Education, we could definitely do with at least one more elementary school somewhere. So just anywhere really where we're gonna get good coverage, lots of happy faces, they liked that. And then high school, you see we're into the yellow. So we definitely need another high school. 
And again, I don't want to just drop down the asset. I want to make it a cool high school like we did with the previous one. Give it a bit of personality, a bit of a feature. So I'm going to level out a pad here and put a front road in. We're going to use the Institute of Creative Arts, which comes with the Green Cities DLC. And it's, it's just a high school. It looks slightly different. So, you know, another bit of character for the city. And then similar sort of thing. I'm going to drop a plaza in just behind the main building, which is where the kids would sit and have their lunch or, you know, just, just chill out, walk around or something whilst they're on their break. And then we'll try and add in some other kind of leisure facilities as well. So this one's going to be a slightly smaller school. It's not like the, the main one in the community, so not quite as big an area. Nice, I like the way that looks. And what else have we got? We've got this ice hockey rink. So I think it was just a skating rink we put in the other one, whereas this is like a proper hockey one. Oh, now I don't want to destroy those rocks, so we'll just... Actually, I'm going to come out here and we'll put it facing the other way. And that fits in perfectly. Look at that. We can run the main road along there and then we'll have to find a way to meander up that hillside somewhere. But this road here, ugh, being a bit awkward. Do I want to fix it? Yep, I do. Cool. And then, right, I'm pretty pleased with that. So then we need to connect up the road so that people can actually come to this school. So we're going to avoid that really steep bit and just go up there and then we'll connect down this way somewhere as well. And there's probably room for a connection through there as well. Excellent. Oh, that's already hooked up with electricity and we can actually get rid of some more power lines just by connecting that. And then you'll need water and heating so that our children can drink and be warm during the day. And then just a few details to finish this off and I'll be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm quite pleased with how that looks. I'm not gonna fence it in, I think those um, the trees do a good good job of being a barrier themselves and there's a bit of grading that kind of draws a natural end to it. So we'll put a bit of commercial in there and then we'll zone all the rest of this in with, with residential. We must be getting near to our next milestone and reaching the workers that we need for the industry area. But we could definitely do with some more healthcare, so another clinic. I don't think we need another cemetery just yet, I think that's all good. Traffic's looking good, pollution, we know about the lake, I will get around to fixing that at some point. We need more fire stations, so just here on that kind of main road would look good and would help out. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. We'll add a few parks in around and about. What can we do? Oh, I would love to get this in somewhere. I don't think that's the right place for it, but maybe down, down here somewhere eventually we could put that in, kind of where we've got a bit of a shoreline. But I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna get to that for today. So what else do we have? A ski lodge would look quite cool just there overlooking our <laughs> Pui Lake, but yeah, I think that would be quite cool. It's quite nice, acts as a park. And yeah, oh, it does look nice with the proper roads, doesn't it? Maybe we need to get round to upgrading all the rest of the roads in the city at some point. Oh, and there we go. We've hit that milestone, so I'm really happy with that. Look how much we've unlocked. That's really good. I think this is where I'm going to leave it for today. I'm going to leave you with a quick city tour, as I always do, to show you what we've achieved today. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back at the same time next week.